Hey, this is Stefan, and um, today I'm going to show you about setting up your Google AdWords account so that you can get started uh, marketing right away. This is the fastest way for you to start doing some marketing and get some uh, traffic going to your site. So first you want to set up a Gmail account. So you want to go to mail.google.com and get an account set up with Gmail. Um, really easy to do just go like I said to that website and set it up once you're done you want to go to Google AdWords which is going to be adwords.google.com and you want to go ahead and click on start now so now you have two options you have the starter edition standard edition don't worry about the starter edition just go ahead and use the standard and click continue at the bottom and here you're going to target your customers by language I recommend that you use English uh, as most people speak it and it's where I'm located here most likely you or an English speaking place so target customers by location um, currently target the United States you can change the targeting and add some other countries uh, I recommend if you do that that the countries that you add are English speaking countries so at the top of the page here you can click on browse and you can add the countries manually that you want to so United States, Australia, and then uh, at the bottom we've got United Kingdom. Um, so those three added, we will click on done, and we'll move on. So we see three locations move forward. Now you see right out, right away, Google wants you to set up your ad. So I'm just going to come up with something uh, off the top of my head. I know that this is based on you know network marketing or MLM business and um, more specifically with some of you maybe ACN or uh, whatever it may be but I'm gonna just go with uh, ACN and just come up with something off the top of my head um, now with uh, some companies you actually can't use the, 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 the name of the company in this ad or Google will contact you and tell you that you need to change that so what some people do or switch the letters around with ACN for instance what I do is put a space in there so that uh, they can't say that I'm using the, the name because there is a space. Uh, and then you want to just come up with some something that's going to be enticing for people, something that uh, um, it's basically what you want is people to click on your ad. Okay, so I'm going to show you some stuff that you can do a little bit later that's going to uh, help you to figure out what to write in here so that people will click on your ad. But for now, I'm just sort of coming up something on top of my head. Um, so make one thousand dollars a day with your biz and secret tips show you how now the display URL and the destination URL need to be the same Google's just come up with this rule um, it wasn't that way but they are wanting to make themselves seem more professional so they don't want people using affiliate links to promote stuff therefore I recommended uh, in the previous video that you purchase your own domain name um, which is really easy to do and I definitely recommend that you do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my uh, domain name for one of my websites that I've got um, and the best thing for you to do is to definitely purchase your own domain name also so it easily just fills in that space click continue and here we are keywords so this keyword area could be a whole video just by itself so I'm just gonna go over some of the basics and um, you know kinda go from there now the main thing is uh, you wanna be careful you can spend a lot of money for nothing with Google if you are too broad with your uh, with keywords and by that I mean if you take something like make money people online obviously will be typing in make money but that can mean so many things. It can mean make money with a mutual fund. It can mean make money with uh, investing in stocks. It can mean make money in, in the restaurant industry. It could mean any number of ways to make money, and many of which have absolutely nothing to do with the opportunity that you're offering. So you want to stay away from keywords that are very broad, and you want to start to learn how to come up with keywords that are more niche-based, 
and preferably ones that are in and around your city, um, you know, your company, whatever. So here we're using ACN as an example. So um, ACN, ACN Business, or maybe ACN Business Opportunity. So as you can see right away, we're we're still, you know, um, keeping it uh, a little bit broad with you know specific or giving people information, so letting them know that we're in a business opportunity, but the business is ACN. So somebody would have to type in ACN to see your ad, so that that way you know they're they're specifically looking for what you have to offer, and that's a a, a keyword group, and so you always want to keep your keyword groups sort of tightly linked together. So if you're promoting two different businesses, you don't want to put these keywords in your other um, campaign. You want to keep these linked closely together. Now here you see me putting uh, quotes around AC and business opportunity. What that does is actually um, without the quotes, somebody can type in ACN business opportunity in any sentence, in any uh, way they want. It doesn't even have to be AC and business opportunity, it could just be opportunity or business or any word that's in there without the quotes. When I add the quotes, you have to use these three words in any variation or in, 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 in a part of a sentence. And um, if I use brackets like this, then it specifically has to be ACN business opportunity. It has to be the search term within Google. Okay. So the others within with quotes, it can be in any uh, order. And without quotes, it can just be one of the words. It doesn't even have to be all three. So, uh, just when I when I do it, I do all three. So if I had ACN business opportunity, I would do it broad, with quotes, and then with brackets. So from there, we'll continue. Now this is the. Um, money page basically this is where you choose your currency which is uh, US dollars and enter your daily budget now with the daily budget the the trick to that is well I won't say it's a trick but Google likes higher budgets so if you're planning on having a lower budget that's fine and if you have the time to um, sort of watch this throughout the day and kind of see where you're at I recommend putting in a higher budget more than you're wanting to spend and when you hit your your limit for the day then just pause the ad until the following day because Google really likes just to see that more money is coming in and you may get a higher ranking because your budget is set a little higher um, so just uh, watch out for that and it, if, if you can't do it that's fine just put in whatever budget you can afford but if you are able to watch it put in a higher budget and then just keep keep track cost per click is how much you're willing to pay per click so anytime someone clicks on your ad Never pay more than a dollar, in my opinion. So I'm putting this at 75. The content um, network will go into that later. Don't worry about that for now. And uh, we're going to check out the traffic estimator. And there you'll see that um, estimated uh, cost per day for the keyword ACN is estimated average cost per click is 42 cents to 64 cents the estimated ad position is going to be one to three and the estimated clicks per day 43 to 62 estimated cost per day 20 to 40 dollars a day just for that word um, so once you have your your you know campaign set up and your ad set up you can actually check and see what uh, what it's going to be like and you'll be able to you know see which words are are, are costing you more and which words are costing you less and which are being shown more so that's what's great that you can go back in there and you can really dig in and and see what's working better uh, and what isn't um, so the other words you can see there are not going to be as good but that's okay I actually have used some of those specific words and had some success with them so don't just try just because it says so here don't uh, let that stop you from using the words. Try them out yourself and see what you get.